Despite the mayhem that occurred some weeks ago in River State over allegation of impeachment threats and setting in place of the State House of Assembly, the River State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal earlier in the week dismissed petitions seeking to nullify the election of Governor Similai Fubara of uh, River State. The Independent National Electoral Commission has on March 18, 2023, declared Governor Fubara of the People's Democratic Party as winner of the governorship election, having polled 302,614 votes ahead of his contestants. Displeased with the results of the election, the All Progressive Congress APC, Labour Party, Allied People's Movement, and Accord Party approached the election petition tribunal seeking to nullify the election. But in a judgment, the tribunal affirmed the election of uh, Sim Fubar as validly elected governor of the state. So joining us now on the show is Opanabo Nkotaria, a civil rights advocate and former special advisor to Governor Wike. Great to have you. Uh, let me, uh, and we're going to be talking about also the threat to Godfather. Good morning, Rufai. Yes. Uh, the topic is about, you know, rivers and threat. So can I ask you this question? It goes like this. With the consolidation at the appeal court, I don't know if the parties will still go to the Supreme Court. Is Fubara one step closer to finally get a finality on the electoral process? so that he now deals with the case of his godfather, Wiki, Because that matter is not settled yet. There were lots of things Mr. Wiki made veiled references for in his last press conference where he talked about Ingrid and all of that. And I know Fubara would like to assert himself, probably taking a pound of flesh in that regard. So is this one step closer to Fubara getting full affirmation by the courts about the electoral process than the real... Casino Royale begins in River States. Is that it? Okay. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Nigerians. And uh, morning. Doc, Dr. Abati, good morning as well. Good morning. Thank you. Well, talking of one step closer, willy-nilly, whether he likes it or not, is a step closer because the Supreme Court is a final court. And um, whether he believes that or not, it is a final court. So... It's just a step closer because that is the final court and whatever decision the Supreme Court, whatever pronouncement it makes becomes what it is, unless you're going to appeal to God. And God is not going to intervene here in River State, I mean Abuja, but here in River State uh, on the governorship election tribunal. So definitely he's one step away, whether he likes it or not, he's one step away. That is the answer to your question before we go into the issue so of, going uh, to the Godfather issue, Godfatherism and asserting himself. So definitely, Fubara will now start to assert himself as regards what's happening in River States. Talk about that vis-a-vis -vis this talk about Godfatherism. Because the fight is not over. In fact, it's just started. It's, it's a big battle royale in Rivers. I'm very happy, Rufai, that um, you're quite insightful. Insightful in the sense that you agree with me that the issue of the peace talk is just a smoke screen. It's a facade. Uh, the battle has not even started, so to speak. On the issue, I refer to it as pestilence of godfatherism. We have a situation where the governor is being asphyxiated. You have a situation where the governor is being manacled, he's been handcuffed. For example, you have the special assistants, you have the commissioners, you have, sorry, are you talking? No, I'm not saying anything, sir. No. Are you talking? I think no. there's a gap in communication. I'm not saying okay. anything. You no. have the issue of the, because I saw your hand, just let you have, you have the issue of the appointment of special advisors, the appointment of commissioners, the appointment of chief of staff, the appointment of ADCs and orderlies. Well, the governor appoints, he's the appointer, but the truth, has, the truth is that they were imposed on him, foisted on him because they were nominated by his predecessor, Yesom is the one wiki. And aside from that, we also know authoritatively that even in the, when it comes to the issue of mandate, the signing of non-mandate, he needed the imprimatur of his predecessor to sign those mandates. The governor could not do anything of his own volition. In the issue of uh, uh, Office of the First Lady, 
I can tell authoritatively as well that it doesn't exist in River State. Why doesn't it exist? Because the governor had warned them that we don't, I don't want to hear anything like the issue of the uh, office of the first lady. So this was the kind of situation that the present governor, Sim Fuba, found himself in River State. And don't forget that when a man is pushed to the wall, he bounces back with redoubled effort. That notwithstanding, he was being very careful because he appreciated the fact that yeah, the former uh, governor, who, who is now the president of the, who is now the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, was instrumental to his emergency, even though he was not willing to accept to run for the office of the governor in River State. But, at least he was convinced by the former uh, governor, who is now the minister, I, I'll, from now on I'll keep saying who is the minister, who is now the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, to run for. He guarded him, and the guy eventually accepted. Whatever agreement they had behind the scenes is none of our business. It's not the business of Rivers people. You're there as a governor, you're there in our image, you ought to be there in our image, and you ought to ensure that good governance prevails. So whatever uh, private agreement they had, but I can tell you that the problem we are having in River State is like what I said, the pestilence of Godfatherism. It is a situation where you have wealth tainted by cupidity and is being festered by the desire to control egoism. That is what is going on. How dare you? Now, you former minister himself, the present minister himself said, he bought forms in any civilized clime. By now, you should be cooling off his heels in one of these uh, either DSS or police uh, detention camps. He bought forms for everybody. He said that, hope nobody did not say that, that he bought forms for everybody, with whose money? People talk of good governance, in, people talk of infrastructure. I think it's, it's a distorted understanding of what really went on in River State. I'm a rivers man. For eight solid years, there was no agriculture in River State. For eight solid years, we, in fact, the employment rate dropped. We're about the least employed state in River State, in, in, in the country. Maybe this, the, the, the second or third, least employed. People were hungry. Okay. And you're talking of infrastructure. What, what infrastructure precisely are you even talking about? Okay, Opunabo. No agriculture. You're talking of building of bridges. Opunabo. Yes. Yes. I need you to clarify something for me. I can hear you. And then I will ask my question. Yes, yes. You were talking about office of the first day. Okay. Are you trying to suggest that uh, Yeson Wiki, the former governor, also wants to take it upon himself to appoint a first lady for the governor of River State? Is that what you are suggesting? That's the clarification I want. No, but not at all. But, but you see, the issue of the office of the first lady, if I have to expand on that, maybe I should elucidate. Okay, okay, let me then ask my question first. If you'll allow me. Let me ask my question, and then you can take everything okay, okay. together. The question is okay. this. Um, okay. Bubara was director of finance and administration in government house. He was later permanent yes. secretary. He yes. was later um, accountant general of the state. Uh, at those levels, he had some level of control. Now, what we're hearing is that as governor, he's not allowed to control anything. He's not even allowed to travel out of the state. <laughs> he's been held those stage. He's a prisoner <laughs> as a governor. But is it true? In government as, house. As some people allege that Inyesun Wiki from Abuja is in fact not just controlling the APC, that is also controlling both the PDP and the APC in rivers. How true is that? Back to you. That's incontrovertible. I can tell you, Doc, it's incontrovertible. OK, for example, now we have the recent appointment of the caretaker committee of the APC. Uh, uh, we are talking of members, Tony Okocha and co. These were all engineered by years, years on his own week. It's no hidden fact. It was, they were all orchestrated by him. Meanwhile, to leave the PDP, he doesn't want to leave the PDP. As for the PDP, of course, before he left the state, he was in charge of the structure. You know, the governors are leaders of the parties. So he was in charge of the structure. And when you say, when they say, when he said somebody was supposed to take away the structure or wants to take the structure away from him, it is completely laughable. He suffers from eclipse of vision and poverty of logic. Because if you talk of the structure, we had the issue of Dr. Peter Lee, who had the strongest structure and strongest hold on the structure in PDP. 
in River State. Nobody's trying to take that away. He was just in charge of the financial structure and not necessarily the structure of the PDP in the state. Then go, let me go back to the issue of the first lady. You see, in as much as it is unconstitutional, illegal, that you don't really have the office of the first lady, but we all know that it has become a norm. And Wicca himself said, even in churches, that he doesn't want to hear the issue of first lady. In churches, it's on record. He doesn't want to hear the issue of first lady. The, you know, what he wants is absolute control. He doesn't want anybody, even those who are, as who are supposed to visit the government, government house, have been restricted. And if anybody gets into government house, immediately one or two persons call him. And he's going to lambast the governor for doing that without his consent. This thing played out itself in the appointment of the Commissioner for Information, in the appointment of, uh, of uh, how do they describe this thing? Is it a specially abled person? Okay. A senior into special government. assistant to the governor. Wike was, 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 was peeved that those appointments were made. Even the issue of the Songhai, which was set up by Rotimi Amechi. No, but which was supposed but, to provide but, but with the physical um, challenge employment. Uh, sorry, with some of those appointments, I think we yeah, can challenge. Yes, yes, we can say yes. we can argument is that uh, Fubara he, was beginning to appoint people from Okobo, from his own uh, 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 town. No, that was not without that, clearance. No, that was a special. That was a special reason. That was a, that was a special reason. Good, you said without clearance. Do you need do you need clearance from your predecessor to make any appointments? <laughs> You're in charge. That, but that reason, that when he said the Pope was special, why did Fubara cancel most of the appointments in, at, at Ajuri University? Most of them were equities. I don't want to bring in tribalistic sentiments here. We all know that if you get to River State today, most of the appointments done by Yesom is the one we give, we are, we are tribalistic. And Fubara said most of them, we are not even qualified. And that was why he had to cancel all. I'm talking about Ajuru. So those sentiments are special. In the public, they will say, oh, oh, he's trying to... But let us look at it this way. Who was supposed to be even be the chief judge of River State right now? Although okay. it's a political appointment. Ruben, okay. you're a lawyer. You know that. Okay. It's political. But who is actually supposed to be the chief judge of the state right now? And okay. who is the chief judge of the state right now? I'm not saying the man is not competent. But you all, all, we all are going to agree with me okay. that seniority counts a lot in law. Okay, okay, sir. Can you hear me? Okay. This morning, let's dig deeper. Yes, I can hear you, Rufa. Rufa yeah. right. Let's dig deeper. Yes. When did you fall out with Governor Wicke? Because you were an advisor to him. Some people will say, what you're doing now is sour grapes because you're falling out with him. Where did you fall out with him? And why did you fall out with him? Secondly, in this... I don't give it... I, no, I'm not I, hang on a minute. about what people say. No, no, no. I, I, I want to, let me finish I, my question, please. Please, okay. I beg you. In this okay. Casino Royale okay. that is about to start, or this battle that is about to start in River State, let me dig deeper by talking about something that makes his both people. At some point in the past, Governor Fubara was said to have escaped an arrest, possible arrest by EFCC at the airport. A certain group leading yeah. up to the election said there was a talk about 117 billion fraud. Would all of this come to yes. the table? How does that nexus come between Governor Fubara, okay. uh, Governor Fubara and former Governor Wiki? Let's dig deeper. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly say this. Yes. On the issue of my falling out, in all honesty, while I was in office, I, I didn't have any problem with finances. I must be honest with you. No problem at all. It had to do with personal relationship. When I mean personal, attitudinal differences, you know? For example, somebody might give you the whole world and every day calls you a stupid man, which you might not be able to brook. And you say, well, thank you for giving me this whole world, but for calling me a stupid man, I have to leave. We all have our differences and we all have things we, we pride ourselves with. So that is all about that. That is all about that. Then on the issue of the fraud allegation. You all agree with me that I know a lot of persons are, not, are going to argue that you, you can't insulate because if you're asked to do a thing and you don't and you don't you don't feel like doing it, you have a right to say I'm leaving, I'm resigning. I agree. Why we are here to substantiate that because it's an allegation from EFCC and we all know that most of the cases from EFCC were thrown out in courts. We all know. So until it has been substantiated, 
then we can say, okay. But in the case of Fobara, for example, he was director of finance, government house, became PAMSEC finance, became, uh, what is it called again, uh, accountant general of the state and so on. Just like the issue of the uh, Buari and the issue of Emefele. Today, Emefele has been hunted. I'm not making excuses for him. But it is also funny that Emefele is hunted and Buaru gave all the premature, is being left alone. So the same thing with Fubara. The, if today yes is arresting Fubara, it's because as at that time, we had, it, uh, had immunity and could have been arrested. So probably they were going after Fubara in order to, to get information which they will use to bolster their cases against Wike when he leaves office. But we've not heard anything about that now. Fubara himself can, couldn't have done, approved those things without the consent and mandate of Yes and Wike, who was his principal, who was his governor. And the world has not come out to tell us, none has come out to tell us, this is the true situation of things. So there is no way you can indict Fubara, for example, notwithstanding the immunity, and at the same time exonerate Yes and Wike from it. Because he couldn't have done that without his mandate. So if A is guilty, if you say Fubara is also accused of that, yes, he is after he, therefore is guilty, then we, by extension, Wike is also guilty. So we are going to wait for the events on that issue to unfold. And I think at that <clears> appropriate <throat> time, the security operatives, if they, I pray that they won't, be, they, won't be, they won't be pocketed at this point in time, because I, I lack respect for most of our agencies and institutions in this country. Okay. I'm Open very Abel. sorry to say that. Open Abel. I lack respect for most of them. But if eventually they come up to tell us the truth, then we'll now know the truth and know the level of involvement. Okay. You started by talking about the significance of uh, Governor Fubara's victory at the uh, Court of Appeal and at the Tribunal. With the Court of Appeal saying that the... Uh, we are quite elated. Rivers people are elated, that, yes. That the uh, petitioners could not prove <clears throat> their allegation of substantial non-compliance with the Electoral Act and that the uh, uh, petitions lacked merit. But in the case of uh, merit, Cole, they said the tribunal was wrong to have dismissed him on the grounds that uh, you know, uh, his party had withdrawn from the case, but that as uh, an individual, you know, uh, and a stakeholder in the process, he had the right. But despite that, they also said his case lacks merit. So, Fubara may well win the uh, legal battle, but will he be able to govern? When this same wiki, the godfather, was there, we kept hearing about commissioning of roads, uh, commissioning of bridges, <laughs> one project <laughs> after another. No, this was reported. It was a uh, regular thing, right? <laughs> but since Fubara got there, more than six months now, it's all about uh, fight and noise and quarrel. How would he be able to serve the people of uh, River State, which is Godfather say the battle okay. will not end until it is, it is over? And with the House of Assembly trying to impeach him, if, whatever happens, even if he survives, it's very clear that Wiki will not allow him to get a second term. He will go and wait for him. Is he not bothered by that? And is he not concerned that he will not even be allowed to function and serve the people? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Um, first and foremost, it, is, it will be quite erroneous for anybody to think. Wicked doesn't even have the clout the, the world thinks he has. He doesn't. He's an opportunist. It's as simple as that. If he thinks that is going to make the state ungovernable for Fubara, then it's a grand delusion. I say grand delusion because when he started it, you know, there was an, also an attempt on the life of Fubara. Where most people have swept that under the carpet. That's a very serious issue. On a sitting governor, serving governor. Now, when the, that intifada and co orchestrated, when it all started, don't forget that Rivers people came of their tribe came out to say enough. Look, for the last eight years, it was a march of terror, conquest, and subjugation in the rivers. It under years of 
people could not come out to talk because they were scared and not out of respect or love. Now, when Fubara took over and that whole mess came up, you saw how rivers were gathered. They supported Fubara. And most of us are upset because he keeps preaching peace. Right there? We all agree that we love peace. But in most cases, the peace will come after the war. If somebody slaps you today and you walk away, the person will have the gumption to slap you tomorrow. But if he slaps you today and you retaliate, even if the person is stronger than you, the person will think twice tomorrow. Okay. We'll do the same thing. Okay, wait a minute. And that's what we expect of the governor. Wait a minute, now you're saying... Now, I, I want to address the issue of the issue, how can he govern? How can he govern? I want to address okay. that issue. Address quickly. that, I'll ask you a question, yeah. Right. A lot of people right. say, a lot of people, yes, a lot of people say the governor is stingy, the governor is this, the governor is that. He's not. He's an accountant, he's prudent. Not that he's stingy. But where is the money? Talk of the ring road, for example. The ring road, even the minister himself admitted, we don't need a ring road in the state. We don't need it. Every day, talk of project, project, project. What project? No agriculture, no, we don't have transportation, nothing. You talk of project. Why? We all know why you're insisting on project. Okay. To feather your pockets. Okay, okay. Please, I'd like to come in here. So, please. Uh, now, as we speak, no House of Assembly. Who is going to pass the budget? We, the president did his own yesterday. Who is going to pass that budget? Okay. Even the ring road is tied. So even the budget that is going to be passed, where will the money come from? Okay, hang on from a minute. Where? Hang on a minute, sir. So his answer, his answer fettered. Yes. Ha hang on a minute. Now all of a sudden you're saying yes, yes. Wiki that you once served is no consequential, it doesn't have the clout. But let me use your words. When this same Wiki Don't forget I resigned within one year. No, no, I hang, hang, hang on a minute. Year. Let me finish, please. So when yeah. this same Wiki Yes was sort of like a peshmaga to your to Fubara's intifada just to be able to get him in there. It was of no consequence then. No. When he won elections and handed over the governorship seat to Fubara, it was of great consequence then. Is it because the man is no longer in the state? That's why you want to kick him out? And this is a fair question because... We balance all sides of views. Because now you're obviously saying, oh, Fubara is fighting the Intifada. But the Intifada they first fought was for even Fubara, an outlier candidate, to get in there and get the governorship seat. So Wike was good then, but all of a sudden it's no longer good. Okay, one minute. I'll, I'll quickly respond to that now. First and foremost, we all know the power of incumbency. There are certain things that cannot be said on air, but we all know the power of incumbency. That's number one. Most people, like he said himself, he bought forms for almost everybody, if not everybody. And when you say you, buy, you bought forms for everybody, that you're indicting yourself inadvertently. You're already in charge, which with democracy never really took place. We are talking of the emergence of a party candidate right now. And before now, the air was suffused with the clamor for a riverine governor. Since 1999, we've always had an upland governor. So we needed, we were yearning for a riverine governor. And the air was suffused with that clamor. And that's why we said most riverine people should come out and contest. Eventually, Sim was brought out. And Sim was brought out simply because, principally because he felt he was going to control him. But don't forget, when a man is pushed to the wall, he bounces back with redoubled effort. And every spirit revolts at tyranny. He felt, okay, Dumo Ludubrix is there. Um, my brother, Dele, uh, Dele Cole, is also there. We all, these are oh, the yeah. people. So we know the sentiment. We know this, the sentiment. So let me also bring out a riverine man that I can trust. A riverine man that will not betray me. And that was why he settled for Sim. And brought us in. As far as River State was concerned, we wanted a riverine governor. That is the truth about it. So when Sim was brought as the PDP candidate for the 2023 general elections, we all said, well, if it's riverine, then let's select. 
And then they passed in from when she came in. You know, you all, we, are, we are all Nigerians. You know what Nigerian policy is all about. You, 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 what, you, what, you, what you try to do is to play, to catch in on the uh, pecuniary status of your Corruption. People. That's just what so you're saying. Even those that don't will say no, will say yes. Corruption. Pure Sorry? and simple. Corruption. That's what you're saying. That's the power of incumbency. Corruption our, to our, win elections. Our, demo, our, our, de our democracy is corrupt. We don't practice democracy in this country. I'm of nationally. If we want to go into that, I can go into that. We don't practice democracy in this country. In recent times now, even our court, we don't elect our leaders. Our courts dictate to us who those leaders are. Open up all. But because we are consigned to reverse well, we it, have, I'll, leave it, we have, I'll we have, leave it here. So we, let us leave that last bit. We have to bring this to a close. There are other questions we would have loved to ask you, including, for oh. example, why is it that... Oh, uh, oh, please, please. Why is it that Fubara is not reaching out to other PDP leaders in the state? It looks like Wike is the only person in the PDP in the whole of River State. There are others here who could uh, assist him. It could be that Fubara himself is afraid of Wike, genuinely, for reasons best known to him. But we'd like to thank you very much, uh, Punabo Nkutaria, for joining us on the morning show.